RNC to air ad during MLB All-Star Game saying Dems stole it from Atlanta. Game was set to take place at Truist Park, home of the Atlanta Braves, but MLB moved it Colorado. The Republican National Committee will air an ad during Tuesday night's Major League Baseball All-Star Game that claims political figures and corporations lied about Georgia's new voting law, which led to MLB moving the game from Atlanta to Denver. The game was originally set to take place at Truist Park, home of the Atlanta Braves, but MLB moved it to the Colorado Rockies' Coas Field after Democrats, including President Biden, likened the law to Jim Crow. The RNC said it is putting seven figures into the ad by. Democrats stole our all-star game to push their divisive political agenda. Politicians and corporations lied, while black communities got hurt the most Georgia's revelation. Melvin Everson says in the ad in a voiceover, which was released Monday. Even though a majority of black voters support laws like voter ID. To Democrats it's just a game. But we're the ones who got played. The Washington Post awarded Biden a maximum four Pinocchios for his claims about Georgia's law, particularly his statement that the law ends voting hours early so working people can't cast their vote after their shift is over when in reality the law keeps election day voting hours at 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Any changes to early voting hours would expand hours, not reduce them, the Post said. MLB made the decision to move the All-Star game after Biden told ESPN he supported the idea, and called the law Jim Crow on steroids. The lies told by Democrat politicians and corporations about election integrity have real-life consequences, hurting Georgia families Republican National Committee Chairwoman Ronna McDaniel said in a statement. Democrats don't care about the costs of their lies because their sole agenda is more power. The American people will hold Democrats accountable for their lies about election integrity because they know the security of our elections is too important. The Justice Department filed a lawsuit looking to block the Georgia law. A federal judge last week ruled against a request to block portions of the law related to observing votes before upcoming runoff elections. Georgia Secretary of State Brad Raffensperger called the case just another in a line of frivolous lawsuits against the state's election law, adding, we will continue to meet them and beat them in court. The DOJ's lawsuit is one of eight federal lawsuits challenging the new law.